Qualifying is one of the most exciting times of the weekend. You always just feel the butterflies and that fighting mood comes up. It's a roller coaster ride of emotions and supercharged focus. You've been testing and training, and now it's, it's the time to deliver that perfect lap. It's basically having a shot of adrenaline for about 90 seconds. You know, you get in such an intense state of focus and concentration. You can feel your heart rate going up. You know, this is the lap that matters. Your adrenaline also goes through the roof, but that's what we like. It's important to get your heart rate down. Like that normally then helps you to execute and make most out of the situation. It's that feeling that you've got one lap to put it all on the line. Every driver will have their own ways to kind of get into the zone for qualifying. Obviously, you want to try and block out as many things as possible. It's the time you get to push the car probably the most. Your max power, lowest fuel, new tires. It's the time you get the best feeling from within the car. Qualifying is one of the best performance you can get from the car. Most grip you can get from the tire as well. So as a driver, it's always fun to drive. It feels very, very special. The first time you will find the car on its absolute limit will be in qualifying. And you just need to be extremely, extremely precise, but it just feels like you are in your zone. You don't think about anything else other than just trying to do the best job possible and to be as precise as possible. Yeah, feeling. Let's go! Come on! You need to hit the apexes, you need to hit braking points and the way you go on throttle. You kind of feel when it's going to be a, a good lap or not. And that's pole position for tomorrow. Not bad, not bad. Good after that. I think it's really becoming one with the car and forgetting about the surrounding and really tackling it corner by corner. When you feel that maybe that corner you will not make it, you know, you break too late or you, you have a snap in the car and then you still uh, complete the corner and you gain time, you, you feel that you are doing a good lap. G2, awesome job mate, hell of a lap. Ah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Good guys, well done, good car to drive. When you're going through your weekend, you're finding all these pieces to the puzzle. Once you get to qualifying, it's putting the pieces of the puzzle together as you're doing the lap. And if it fits perfectly, like when you're making a puzzle, you know that nice feeling when it goes in place. Like Jetta, for example, you get through one or two, and then you're like, okay, I'm, I've got a good exit. And once you get through three, you're kind of, okay, I'm on a good one, and so then you continue it. P1, good job, mate. Oh, great job, team. You have to squeeze everything in that one lap, and when it doesn't work the way you wanted it to be, then it is obviously frustrating. I'm out, man. Sorry. You know that you've given everything. Sometimes there's just not more in it. It's either you or the combination that just didn't fit, so then you just have to try and make it better next time. A bad quality lap, as a driver, it really leaves you a, a really bad feeling. Not my lap. And I need to go to sleep as soon as possible because I know when I wake up on Sunday morning, I'm thinking about the race. I think that's why there's so much additional pressure for qualifying, because it's that one lap. So please confirm tires. Yeah, put slicks on. Slicks, okay, slicks. And if you do make a small error, you know, it's there for the world to see. Yeah, sorry about that, I wanted to go for it. We are P8. Yeah, copy that. I wanted to go for it. It's important you keep the focus. If you get too comfort and you think that you have a great lap and you try to preserve that lap, then it's very easy you lose the tents in one corner. It's never a good lap until it's completed. Pole position. Yes! Yes! Well done. Yes! Last year was my first front row starting next to Lewis. It's kind of a drug, like once you feel it, then after you want to repeat it as many times as you can. If you're getting it right, it feels powerful, I guess is the word I'll use. And he finished P1. Nice job, mate. Good luck. <laughs> you don't always have everything in control, but there is always a race that you can come back, and that's what you need to look forward to.